What's going on guys, Cal Zane back with another video, and today I wanted to talk about special weapon economy in Destiny, and mainly I want to hit on sidearms and just their overuse in the Crucible right now due to the current meta we have going on. Now, I'm not here to bash on sidearms, I think they're excellent weapons, I think they have a lot of good utility, and I think in some ways they do have some more utility than sniper rifles and maybe even shotguns, but I prefer to use hand cannons and sniper rifles in general, mainly because both of them take a lot of aim to be proficient with them, especially sniper rifles, and I'm not very good at either, and I figure the only way to get better is to keep using them over and over and over and over and over again. So, this meta has definitely disappointed me in the fact that I really can't use my sniper rifle with any amount of proficiency with so many different... Um, sidearms coming around because you spawn with no special ammo when you die. Now, the big exception, as everyone knows, is sidearms. And while that is a feature that's always been pretty neat and unique with sidearms, and I understand exactly why it has that function, at the same time, it makes it a little disappointing that I can't just use my sniper rifle and respawn with any ammo. Now, I understand why they nerfed special ammo to begin with, and I agree wholeheartedly with that. I think that people need to use primary weapons more often instead of relying on secondary weapons. So, the big question is why are sidearms still the only ones that you can spawn with special ammo? So, I've been brainstorming for a few days on why this is and how it can be fixed to more better balance the Crucible. Because I'm going to be completely honest, I've been playing since the launch of the Taken King. Now, I didn't play in year one, so I have no reference from year one on what the Crucible was like. But in year two, I would say that this is by far the most balanced I've ever seen the Crucible in terms of primary weapons. And I've been thoroughly enjoying that. I can use the Soros Regime again and feel like it's a good good weapon to use. It's a good choice to use. Same with the Hawk Moon. I love that weapon, and it's great to be able to go in the Crucible and not have Phantom Bullets plague it every five seconds. So that's all awesome. And I'm glad that primary weapons are in a good state and are balanced at the moment. But I do think that special weapons need better balancing in terms of there's one or two options I've come up with that I think Bungie could implement. Now, just so you know, I have no knowledge of how it goes on on the design aspect of the game from their end. So I don't even know whether this plan is actually even feasible with how Destiny's programming and designing is. But these are my sort of ideas on how to fix the current state of the crucible so my first one and probably the one i think is most preferable is if they actually change sidearms from being a special weapon to a primary weapon now i know a lot of people are going to be like why why would you want sidearms to be a primary weapon because they have more of the application of a primary weapon to begin with. They need, they require a little bit more aim, and you have to be a little bit more accurate with them, or you burn through your ammo really, really quick. Now, with a sniper rifle, even if you nail them in the body, you can do a cleanup kill with a, with a hand cannon. Now, with sidearms, they do have a really fast time to kill, but... In general, if you miss shots, you burn through more shots of ammo than you do with a sniper rifle missing one round. So, but again, you get less rounds. So, I can kind of see why it makes sense. And I think if they're going to implement them as a primary weapon, I would nerf the damage just a little bit to make it more on par with hand cannons and auto rifles. But again, this is what I think would be the best option to balance the Crucible overall right now so people can still use their sidearms that they like without having to give up their sniper rifles or their shotguns or their fusion rifles. Now, I'm glad we're not sitting in the days of Matador 64s everywhere where you can't turn a fucking corner without having someone blasting you with a shotgun or shoulder-charging titans running in or skating in 
with their shotguns in hand, just blowing you the fuck away. That was frustrating as hell, and I did not enjoy it. And I know a lot of people had that same complaint, especially in game modes like Supremacy, when that was what you needed to do in order to win Supremacy. So, again, I think in terms of weapons, this is we're at a pretty balanced point right now, aside from sidearms. Now, my second idea here on how to fix it is make it so sidearms do not spawn with any ammo anymore. Now, that would make it fair in terms of how special weapons work, so you would be free to pick any special weapon you chose and feel like you're on a level playing field. You know, there's a lot of people that really utilize the sidearms right now because of their ability to spawn with ammo. And from what I've seen from other videos on YouTube, and like uh, Cami Cakes said in his video, you see a lot of it in Trials of Osiris where it really counts. Now, I don't play Trials. Again, I don't play that many endgame activities. I would like to eventually, but right now I just don't have the time to. But for a lot of people who do heavily play Trials of Osiris, I can see how that would be a very frustrating meta. And, you know, he referred to it as easy mode. I think it would be more challenging. I'm not, I don't like the No Land Beyond. And it seems to be the best pair up with some of the sidearms. But that's not a meta that really appeals to my playstyle particularly. And I know a lot of other people that I've seen that feel the same. But I, I think that if they start spawning without any special ammo, it'll make it fair for everyone because every single special weapon will spawn without ammo. And that is probably the most balance you can get with that. Now, I still think the best option is to go ahead and convert them all over to primary weapons. I think that the way they function, the, ut or the utility of the weapon, just better matches primary. But, again, it, this is one of the most balanced points I've seen the Crucible in. So, in terms of primary weapon shootouts, if everyone's not carrying around sidearms, then it all goes really well because you get a lot of really good primary weapons. And it really allows you to open up your play style and play a little bit more the way that you like. You know, if it's not like before where pulse rifles were the best primary weapon and everything else was garbage and you would get gunned down in a heartbeat if you try to use anything else. It's very balanced, very, very fair. And one-on-one -on -one shootouts with primary weapons now are a lot closer than I think I've ever seen them. I, I've gotten into a lot of a lot of one versus one situations where it's really close. I mean we've we've got it down to both where I'm just walk away with a sliver of health or where I even lose, even with drilling headshots. So I think that that's a good thing. And I think that right now it's harder for like massive team takedowns, which is kind of a good thing if you're playing game modes like three vs three where you want to stick together in a tight knit team. You know, and you catch those stragglers that are running on their own. It seems like they stand less of a chance of doing a team takedown. But then again, that could just be me, too. So, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I really think that sidearms would make a great primary weapon. I also see their utility as a secondary weapon. So, it's... It's really up in the air on what's the best answer to fix this. I really don't know if there is one. You know, I don't know what it takes for Bungie to be able to make changes in Destiny from a design and programming standpoint. So it's hard for me to say all I want to do is make a suggestion and convey my ideas out here so that way more people can hear it. And maybe Bungie will hear it and maybe they'll, you know, implement it. So... For now, I think that this is what we're going to get. In fact, I actually think that this is going to be the meta we have all the way until Destiny 2's launch. I don't see it changing because just with Destiny 2 around the corner and nothing carrying over, I don't think it would be worth a whole lot of their time if they redo an entire new meta now just to last a few months. But who knows? I could be wrong. So, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, the thumbs up helps a lot for this channel. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you turn notifications on so you can stay up to date on everything I post. And let me know in the comments section below what do you think about 
the current meta? Do you think it's do you think it's shifted in a wrong direction? Do you think that sidearms are completely fine? Or do you like the idea I came up with? So just let me know below and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.